everyone and welcome to Pirate TV. I'm Mary Marshall. And I'm Tyler Stamberger. In today's newscast we will be talking about seminar events, the South Orange Performing Arts Center, and Pirate Sports. If you have attended the SAB Open Mic Nights in the past, an exciting new change is here. Tonight's Open Mic Night will have a focus on culture. Students will be performing what makes them unique as a person in a culture context through comedy, poetry, music, or even dance. All this is being done in an effort to bring the community together while celebrating our differences. Stop by the Pirates Cove at 8.30 p.m. for this exciting event. Let's take it over to Tim with your Pirates Sports Update. Thanks, Mary, and hello, Pirate Nation. This is Tim Best here with the latest in the world of Seton Hall sports. The women's soccer team coming off their first Big East victory in almost two full years fell 1-0 to DePaul in the Windy City on Sunday. Despite giving up the game's lone goal, Alyssa Blackshear still made her mark with a season-high eight saves in the loss. Blackshear was named Big East Goalkeeper of the Week for the second time this season on Monday for her outstanding play. The Pirates will be back at home on Thursday to play host to Creighton. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. at ONC Carroll Field. On to the men's side of the pitch. The struggles continue for coach Gerson Echeverry and company as they lost 1-0 at home to arch rival St. John's on Saturday. The Pirates remain winless as they head into a Tuesday night road matchup with in-state rival Princeton. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. Finally, the volleyball team split their two matches at Walsh Gym over the weekend, sweeping DePaul on Friday before being swept by Marquette the next night. Sharice Hennigan led the hall with 24 kills in those two games. The Pirates look to get back on track when they travel to Providence for a Wednesday night showdown. Match time is set for 7 p.m. That's a wrap for your Seen Hall Sports Update. I'm Tim Best. Now back over to Tyler and Mary with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Tim. Are you interested in working in Washington, D.C.? Then join us to hear Catherine Dalpino, former U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Diplomacy, Human Rights, and Labor, speak about careers in D.C. Professor Dalpino will also talk about the School of Diplomacy's study and internship in Washington, D.C. program. Reservation is required to Caroline Braxton Thaler. The event takes place this Saturday, October 10th at 1.30 p.m. John Erickson, Chief of the Outreach Unit of HR Management at the UN, and Sarah Husseini, Elections Officer at the Permanent Mission of Saudi Arabia to the UN, will speak about careers at the United Nations. This is a great opportunity for all diplomacy and international relations students who may be interested in this type of work. Attend and learn more. RSVP required to Carolyn Braxton Thaler at student.shu.edu. This event takes place today, October 7th at 4 p.m. in McQuaid Hall. If you're looking to stock up on food for the rest of the semester, make sure to stop by the Pathmark on Valley Street in South Orange. Pathmark is closing in eight days and everything must go. 30 to 50 percent off of everything in the store. Presented by the South Orange Performing Arts Center in Seton Hall, come to the Vienna Boys Choir this Sunday, October 11th at 3 p.m. This is a musical tradition dating back 500 years. The Boys Choir is known as one of the best in the world. Musicians such as Mozart and Schubert have worked with this talented group in the past. For tickets, you can call 973-313-2787. They are free with a shoe ID or $8 for non-shoe students. And that concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Tyler Stamberger. And I'm Mary Marshall. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.